Welcome to part four of IBM Public Sector Consulting's video series on thought leadership. I'm Darcy Pachowski, and today I have with me Vice President and Partner leading IBM Public Sector Consulting's practice, Luann Pavko, to discuss the future of leadership. Welcome, Luann. Thanks, Darcy. It's nice to be here. Luann, in your opinion, what will be the future of leadership moving forward? The requirements of leadership are changing as the world changes. And I think the greatest challenge facing our leaders today is balancing the needs, expectations, and motivations of the current workforce as well as the incoming younger generation. I think leadership in the, in the future has three requirements. One, leaders need to embrace collaboration at levels that aren't even defined today. They need to accept change and reinvention as a daily mantra. And third, we need to redefine our idea of a typical employee or organizational structure. In the future, I believe that we'll be getting solutions from a disaggregated group of individuals that may or may not be part of your permanent organization or agency. With that in mind, what's the most important quality of future leadership? I think there's no question that the environment that we are leaders in is very complex. And if you talk to leaders of any type of organization, they all agree that it's getting more complex. Therefore, I think the most important quality of a leader is to be able to define a very clear and concise long-term vision, yet be able to operate in a daily transactional environment. I think there are three qualities for a leader. One is to motivate their employees by creating a very strong sense of community. I think the second aspect uh, is for them to reward and acknowledge the uniqueness and creativity of the individuals and be able to provide them a means for them to be able to share that uniqueness with a broader group, thereby increasing the collective intelligence of the organization or agency as a whole. You mentioned the most significant, challenging, and dynamic asset of a workforce, its people. What is the relationship between leadership and its workforce? There's a very direct relationship between leadership and its workforce. The workforce and employee base is the future leaders of a corporation or an agency. I can't say enough about the importance of a very strong mentorship program. Mentorship programs allow organizations to understand the skills of their people, understand where they need to develop additional skills, and it helps to empower an employee to have someone to look up to and ask questions to. It also is very beneficial to the employee. It provides them a very stable environment in order for them to take calculated risks, think outside the box, try different management styles so that as they continue to grow within an organization and become the future leader, they've been able to test out different methods and methodologies and is very confident in their approach. Finally, what advice do you have for government leaders trying to fulfill their missions with limited resources? I think it's a very tough challenge for us to continue to focus on our mission with the ever-decreasing budgets that we have, whether you're in the government or in a corporation. I think it's really important that we look at technology as an enabler, as it allows us to do things more quickly and more cheaply than we ever have been able to do in the past. But I think it's really important for leaders to also look at the people and processes around what they do. If we look at what people provide as insights and innovations of how to do things differently, those changes stay for the long term, and in the end, we'll have a more motivated workforce and a more effective and efficient process in order to get and accomplish the mission, regardless of what our budget is. Luann, thank you for being with us today and discussing your insights on the future of leadership. Thanks, Darcy. My pleasure, and I enjoyed it. For more information on leadership, please visit us at IBM.com or follow Luann on Twitter at Luann Pavko.